we finished off the lore of Cardinal and Quinelia, the whole relationship, how she's been waiting for this one moment, but also waiting for the warm embrace of a human. That was actually so wholesome. So I'm glad that that happened. Now, what's the plan? We have basically been tasked a mission to go. I think it's Alice first, right? We need to take back Alice. How do we do that? We need to get rid of the purple thing, you know, that's basically ruining their memories by confronting them. And then also there's a little dagger Yuju has to stab into Alice and then Cardinal's magic will work, sleep, and then take it out. But we also have to find a replacement original block of memory, which is in the Queen's chamber. So we're already going to get there maybe today. Let's begin today's reaction. There's no way we're already in the Queen's System chambers. Code. Object shape, dildo, discharge. Okay, we're gonna get our new drip here. Really? I don't know. I thought Alice would be holding it the entire time, but I guess it makes sense to put in the storage. All right, we got a sword back, and we're gonna get new armor too. <laughs> he loves that sword. They already have. The Axiom Church is Integrity Knight. That pretty much is the army, right? They monopolized it. They monopolized all the power so they could be the most powerful. Huh. That is such an interesting way to view this. I'm saying the person who has the least faith in the church's authority is Pontifex herself. Because of how paranoid she is of gathering powers and monopolizing everything and making sure no one can get over her. But it's just like, if you had faith in the church, why are you doing all this more and more? That's very interesting. Hell yeah. Yo, get a blue armor, get a black armor. Let's get an Integrity Knight armor on. Still regular drip? No armor? Okay. Oh, that's the Red Knight. That's the Crimson Knight's arrows we saw before. Oh shit, there he is. Opening! Open it! Do we know this guy? Probably not. I just see his eyebrows. I don't know, he just reminds me of Eugene. He always reminds me of Eugene just because of his armor from ALO, the Salamanders. Hmm. The Crimson Knight. Oh shit, those arrows, man. Dude! He's shooting like four at a time. What the fuck? Maybe this is three. Burst element! Maya! Kudoro Maya. The flashbang. Yo! Come on, stop! How many arrows do you need to shoot at once, bro? That's like 20! Oh, Yuji! We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, lucky, lucky, lucky. I thought Yuji's foot got caught. Look at this guy's armor, man. <gasps> Generates. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is he about to do release fucking Shikai? Memory release, release recollection skill or some shit? Yeah! That's what we were talking about before, remember? What does it become? He's just gonna shoot fire at us, dude. I don't know. Some kind of fire dragon? I'm gonna assume the conflagration bow right now is what's happening around them. It's been two years since he's been, you know, pushed to this point to use it. Dude, I can't get over how hype the, the term system call. Like, you wouldn't think of anything from, like, system call, right? Give that system call name to anyone else that doesn't watch SAO. They're like, what the fuck, system call? But because of the way that they built up this show, every time someone says system code, I'm like, oh shit, what's about to happen? That's right, with chains, bro. What dark art? No, you're brainwashed. You're brainwashed. That's right. Nah, propaganda wash. Now, if we only know about this guy's past, right? If we knock his helmet off, and then you just gonna be like, wait a minute, I know you. You're that guy from this, 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 and he's gonna be like, oh, and then it's gonna come out. Brainwashed. 
At least one arm. Basically, he's just shooting fire now. Alright, good luck! Here we go! Perhaps an even better or so. That's just a fire cannon! It's a fucking phoenix! The true form! The true form of the conflagrant bow or something! It's, it's got phoenix fucking wings! Damn! It's disgusting how good this looks! Wait, what? What the fuck? Wait, 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 so he's like using some kind of wind magic to like swing the fucking sword around so it deflects all this shit, okay? It's working. That's still okay though, that's, that's better than anticipated. Go, Yujiro! The animation is crazy. <laughs> Flashback time. Dude, this fight animation is crazy. Holy fuck. This whole scene between them and these paws. Oh, the flames. A1 picture is like going all out for this. Infuse. Your belief. Eye sword. Memory. Arisu. That's right. Think about Alice, right? Whole thing about the confidence. That's right. The girl that slapped you. Blue Rose, come on. It's glowing! The taxi pushing him back! Yujiro, come on! That's right, that's right! Okay, the lore of the Blue Rose itself. Last episode, we obviously saw, you know, the origins of the swords and how that can be used. Like a divine object can be used, like memory recollection skill or whatever. Kirito is like Giga Cedar. This dude is the Blue Rose. Ever since the world's creation, it's been there from the beginning. Got it. It survived the harsh environment. Blue Rose! There it is! Damn, yuji he beat an integrity knight! That's actually so fucking impressive what he's doing right now. Helmet's off! Now! What is the face gonna look like when the helmet's off? Yu-Gi-Oh! Bro, clutch so hard. Oh my fucking god. The whole blue rose is just like better than the phoenix, man. Ice versus fire. You would think that fire would win, but not in this situation. Now, who is behind the helmet? Who are you? Confront his memories, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, it's not the helmet fell off. Never mind. Never mind. I thought his helmet fell off. Hmm? Oi, take your helmet off. Come on. So is it correct to assume that that was Yu-Gi-Oh's Shikai? Like, that was him releasing the... Oh, I forget the exact terminology that they used. I'm not really sure. I I I'm not completely sure. Because, like... The Integrity Knight, it's, it's all weird, because Eldray specifically said release, like, recollection memory or something. This, in, this Crimson Knight never said that shit. He said system call. And Yujiro didn't say anything. He just thought about Alice, which we already know, right? We already know about, you know, the thing that you believe in which gives you power. Remember how some people are super arrogant and that was their confidence, right? Yuji is Alice, and he thinks about Alice, and he can become stronger. That's not the memory recollection, right? This is different. This is different. Yeah, the Crimson Knight did say, you know, enhance armament, but, like, he didn't say release memory recollection skill or something. Everyone's saying different shit. Every, every, Shikai is enhance armament. Bankai is release recollection. Okay, I like that. Okay, okay, I, I like that more. Okay, okay. That's something I can understand better. Okay. I don't think he said release recollection, but Crimson Knight did say enhanced armament. So we'll assume that's like Shikai, 
and the Bankai was not released. We've seen Eldry's Bankai, but okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. And what about Yuchio? <laughs> Yuchio was neither. He didn't say anything. I don't know. Can't shoot no more, can you? I won. Secret technique. Um, Beyblade! <laughs> Just fucking brrrr! <laughs> what technique is that? Kirito, Kugo, Kadafsaida, Orega Skatanoa. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's an actual skill? Spinning shield? Have we ever fucking seen that shit? Also, one second, one second. Like, it was an actual skill. Okay, it's fucking spinning shield. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Uh, of course, spinning shield. Who's beneath the mask? He seems familiar. Wait, he's actually being corrected? Hold up, hold up. He's genuinely on our side now? Oh, more advice. Okay, thanks for looking out for us, man. 50th floor. Oh, they're gonna actually kill. You'll probably die. Ew, thank you for the intel. Yeah, I'm surprised he's telling us everything. Frozen. Nah, bro. Fuck that shit. You work with us, man. Let's go. We need another dude helping us out. Nah, nah, nah. We're not gonna kill you now. Fuck that. Why would I shatter a knife before we go to war? That's stupid. Let's go together. <laughs> the seventh one. Dusolbert. That was a knight? That was him? I, he had different armor, so I didn't... <laughs> the guy who dragged out. The one that also used the intention, right? The fucking hockey bro. What the fuck? That was him? Do Salberto. Yo, he got a new drip after that. Where's Alice? What did you do to Alice? You're the one that took Alice. Yo, Yujo might not let us go. <laughs> this will never be that funny to me. This child chained up to a dragon. This is always just the funniest shit to me. Uh oh, he's doing it again. He's thinking about Alice again. It's the fight. It's the fight. It's the ice. Stop. You're freezing him. No. No. It was the dad that bound her by the chains and then Dusselbert carried her. No, no, no. He did not chain her. That's wrong. She did do that. Yushio, no. Yushio, no! This isn't right. Yeah, you know. This ain't right, man. That's right. Where's your honor as a swordsman? He did do that. But at the end of the day, it's not really his fault. It's just the orders that he was given. You want to stop this? We need to use him. Really? And we got watched there too? Straight up, that memory got erased too? Oh, oh, oh. He thought out. Helmet's off! Does he not just remind you of Eugene and maybe Eugene's brother back in ALO, man? It's like that same facial structure type, the same hair, but different person, right? It has nothing to do with him, but I feel like the character is inspired off of that model, right? I mean, he doesn't even remember. Blame Pontifex. That was uncalled for. Kirito, what the fuck? This straight face. Hey, GG. Hey, Boomer. Osan. I mean, I mean, Sir Tussle Like, just unnecessary Osan out of nowhere. What was the promotion? Oh, the new armor. And then he got his memories wiped again, maybe. There. Alice, maybe? Alice. Yeah. 
No one can ever know. And that's the script, exactly. Hey, yo, Pontifex. Yep. Pontifex is so paranoid. There'd be chaos if a sinner you brought here showed up the next day. Exactly, right? It's, it's like, how could you bring Alice here and then suddenly she becomes integrity and not everything doesn't care about it? Everyone's memories continues to get erased whenever it suits Pontifex's needs, man. So fucking paranoid. She is squeaky clean. Yeah, and if you want your memories back, let's work together and we can go up to the top and take back those, you know, those original memory blocks if it's still there. Yes. Brainwash is unreal, bro. Nah, bro, you need to wake up! Yeah, anything? Anything that reminds you of the past? Do you have a daughter or what do you have? A dream. He's a ring? Ring. Hands. Wife? Past wife? The memory erasure is pretty good, but not complete. Right, every time people somehow still has these memories here and there, so so now he'll be like, Alright, let's work together and you will try to find my lost wife. And the ring! Yeah, come on, let's go to the top, man. Fuck that. Work with us. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna walk away. Without explain the second option. Because he did! He said, well, you could go back and get healed up and come after us again after your punishment, or... <laughs> just ignores and walks away. No, it's a dramatic walk away, and now he's gonna say something in a dramatic way as he walked away. There it is. Maybe? Hello? Huh. Alright, we just straight up walked away. But we've already planted the seeds in his head. And I think that do so for will come in clutch later. Like obviously he's not gonna be with us right now, but later when shit gets hard. That sounds weird. When shit hits the fan, do so for will show up in clutch, I think. We got food? Just, just had the dumplings in his shirt the entire time. Combo moves. So even though the interrogator knights seem so fucking powerful, they're inexperienced. They do have a lot of power, but in terms of close combat techniques, they're kind of washed. That's what's happening right now, right? Yeah, because I guess, did, would they have lost the memories of fighting? Who knows? But for whatever reason, they're pretty bad against combo moves and, you know, sword techniques combat. They're inexperienced because of the memory erasure. They have these crazy powers, of course, the Shikai and the Bankai, but interesting that there's a weakness. And Kirito has yet to dual wield it, man. There is perfect weapon control arts, right? Perfect weapon control arts, system art, enhanced armament, shikai, release memory, whatever, bankai. AoE Freeze. Now, perfect weapon control art is something that Yuji did, but again, it is still Shikai and Bankai included, right? This is not a separate system. This is the same system that we've seen from the Integrity Knights. It's just that Yuji doesn't have to say it the same way. And he has AoE Freeze, and that is his perfect weapon control, right? Yeah, you envision the rose. And Kirito uses his man. What's that gonna be like? Yeah, what is it? Fuck you.
I can't wait for when he dual wields though. Because that still hasn't happened yet. They're really, really saving the dual wield, man. And when he dual wields, let's see. I don't know. He'll probably have Bankai in one hand and the other one too, right? It should be Blue Rose Sword and the Giga Cedar Tree Sword together. Both full memory released Bankai mode dual wielding with Golden Aikirita mode with Sword Lamp playing in the background as extra buff, bro. I could see that happening. Just. Hello? New girls? The fuck? Hello? Just random girls showed up out of nowhere. Church girls! Are we gonna have to fight the church girls? They have weapons, bro. <laughs> it's time to kill some little girls. <laughs> What's gonna happen, bro? What? What? Say something! And that's today's episode of SAO. And my god, in terms of the fight sequences, I think this is the best fight so far of SAO, right? Like, what other notable fights has there really been so far? I don't think the orc fight really counts. The orc fight is amazing for sure, right? The orc fight definitely is amazing. The animations were crazy, but the stakes weren't too high because it's just a random orc or a goblin. The fight with Volo, it was cool. Fights against Ryos and, you know, Mustard and Ketchup, not really. The fight against the Earth lead guy, the, uh, the other guy, the first Integrity Knight, the 31st one, it wasn't really. It was just with chains, but this, this, bro, holy shit. The way that A1 Pictures went out of their way to animate this shit, the flames, bro. The flame animation between this. Oh, it's so fucking peak. Everything was fantastic about this. The only bullshit part, I guess, is Kitty Toad's fucking <laughs> spinning thing, bro. I don't really know, but it's just like, bro, what the fuck is this spinning thing? Aside from that, the fight was sick. We got to know a little bit more about the system. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but there is this perfect weapon controls art. And what is that? That's the powers that the Integrity Knight uses when they use their fancy powers like this. We've seen the previous 31st Integrity Knight use the release memory something, which is basically Bankai, I guess. But this time he says System Koru, and then it was like, um, Strength and Armament. And people have related that to a Shikai. And Yujiro also obviously used the perfect weapon art, but he doesn't say anything. Instead, he just envisions the Rose and Ice powers happen. I'm gonna assume that everything is the same. It's just that Yuji didn't definitively say the specific wording that I'm going off of to identify which it really is. But still, fantastic mechanic that gets me so hyped up to see like other people's powers. Now, we gotta get to the 50th floor. The 50th floor has all the Integrity Knights just ready to fucking swarm us and it's not dead or alive. It's just simply dead. But before we get there, there's two church lollies. They got weapons. Fuck they want. I say we system call their ass, and that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.